In today's video, we will be using the Prozig Stat Signal Processing Software and the Prozig P8000 Data Acquisition Hardware to perform a microphone calibration. To begin, with the microphone connected to channel 1, we will enter a signal name, which will be microphone. We will then set this to acquire. We need to select a sample rate. In this instance, a good acoustic sample rate is 44,100 samples per second per channel. It is always a good idea to set your target data file. Although in this demonstration, we aren't going to capture any data, it's just good practice to do so. We are going to create a new folder onto our desktop and call it microphone calibration. Inside this folder, we will call the target file capture 001. We will put the number on the end of the file so the software can automatically increment the file name should we wish to capture data. We need to set the signal units. In this case, Pascals. We also need to set the transducer class. Here, we are using an IEPE microphone. It is important to note that the sensitivity is currently at the default setting at 1000 mV per Pascal. Before we perform the calibration, what we are going to do now is save this signal setup matrix. We will call it setup, and this will be saved inside the folder we made earlier. The next step is to arm the system. Using the show signal view display page, we can look at this channel. We can see the microphone. We can see the minimum, mean, maximum dynamic RMS and a real-time display. The display type could be a frequency spectra, a time series, or others are available. Let's select the calibration tab in the bottom left-hand corner. There are three types of calibration, audio, tone and DC. We're going to use the audio calibration because it is a microphone. Our audio microphone has a level of 94 dBs which is the default. If you had a different calibrator, you would enter this value here. A microphone dB reference should always be this value here unless specified otherwise in the datasheet. In this instance, we currently have a low signal. This is shown in red. This is because we have yet to turn on the calibrator. If we now switch this calibrator on, we will see almost immediately that the signal quality has changed to green and good. We now have an acceptable kurtosis and skewness. If we use the Calculate button in the bottom left-hand corner, we can see that the calculated sensitivity is now 44.86137 mV per Pascal. If we then click on the Use button, that value will have now been moved across into the Signal Setup Matrix. Let's go back and check the Signal Setup Matrix. Before, we had the default 1000 mV per Pascal. Now, we have the correct calibration for this particular microphone. We also have a calibration date so we are aware of when that calibration took place. We can either save the setup matrix for later use or perform a data capture if we want to.